the final day of our In to In bike tour brings us just outside of Vergennes in search of sunken treasure. The history of Lake Champlain is really documented in the shipwrecks that we find on the bottom of the lake. Chris Sabick is the Director of Research and Archaeology here at the Lake Champlain Maritime Museum. We are aware of more than 200 shipwrecks that are on the bottom of Lake Champlain. Of those, we've probably documented in detail maybe 50. There are so many wrecks because the lake has been so crucial to military and commercial traffic during the last 400 years. One of our big focuses right now is to work on the gunboat Spitfire, which sank during the retreat from Valcor Island. Footage of the wreck, which sank in 1776, show the boat with its mast eerily intact at the bottom of the lake. It won't cost much to see what it looked like above water since the pandemic entry to the museum is free. We found that it brings in a lot of folks that you know have known about the museum for many years but have never taken the opportunity to come here. So it's really worked out quite well. The In to In bike tour is circular, so our journey ends where it began, back in Brandon, Vermont, with Lilac Inn owner Shelly Sawyer. I think with the biking guests, they love the experience because it's kind of like old fashioned in a way. I'm going to an inn and I'm going to eat there and sleep there and then I'm going to bike to another inn. How cool is that? We can confirm that the experience is very cool. And what better way to quench our thirst than a walk to town for one last taste of Vermont. But we're not looking for maple syrup. So our philosophy is to be small and tap room focused brewery. That's right, we're talking beer. Microbreweries can be found all over the state. And in Brandon, we find Red Clover Ale. So I feel like I might need a flow chart, but tell me the origin story, who marries who, and how does this all come together? Pete is my brother-in-law, Andy is his brother-in-law, so we kind of make a brother-in-law chain. Riker Wyckoff is the final link in that chain that has been brewing here in Brandon since 2018. We're only three barrels, so our game's not like big distribution. Really, it's about being a place for people to come together, right? And we want to bring people in and just like have an enjoyable time. But what have you laid out in front of me? The cream ale we call Gloria. So the last place we worked was a goat dairy, and that was actually one of our goats. It has a nice finish, really nice. Next up, that's Grackle Stout, nice and dry, so it can still be refreshing even when it's hot. I'm actually not a huge stout fan, but I like that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, the last one is Kestrel IPA. If we were to have a flagship, it would probably be this beer. Also very nice. I know you're a stop, or can be a stop, on the in to in bike tour. Yep. Do you see a lot of cyclists yep. walking in? People just come in, say how nice the town is, and just it feels great to be a part of that. Wow, and back to the Maritime Museum, besides its work with ship, they actually have many programs besides its work with shipwrecks. Right, they have a ship building program where kids can build their own kayaks, then paddle them out on Lake Champlain. It's also a pay what you can program, yeah. so that removes financial barriers from anybody who wants to participate. Great program, mm -hmm. great bike tour. We had a good time in Vermont. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. I'm Anthony Everett. And I'm Shana Seymour. Have a great evening. We'll see you back here tomorrow night. Good night, everyone.